Yeah. No, no, I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. I'm ready. I didn't know. It's good. Well, Marlon, I always think of you as a very positive guy. Um, but this has been a tough year, right? I mean, is there frustration from you behind the scenes at kind of how things have played out? Man, I had I had a little when I when I lost my opponent and the, the fight got postponed, but not at all with not getting the title shot. I knew I needed another fight. You know, after the fight with Aldo, it was a close fight. And I just fought for the title, you know. People want to see someone getting in there with a statement. And that fight was a good fight against the legend, but wasn't a statement. And here I am now, you know. Here I am. I, I, I focus on this fight, on the performance. I want to put it on Saturday night. And that's it. Does it feel like you're going in there to, to not only win, of course, but also to prove, like, hey, I should be the next guy. I mean, I kind of already got passed over once. I need to have that title shot. It's not about that title shot. It's about the caliber. I want to get in there and show the kind of caliber fighter I am. You know, get in there against a highly uh, skilled skill, uh, opponent like uh, Cody. Cody is not an easy fight for anybody. In my opinion, he's one of the best fighters in the division. And he's one of the hardest guys to fight. And I see a lot of people would say, oh, he just lost to a guy that you finished and you're fighting him. Man, I don't care. I want to fight with the best. And I recognize how good he is and how good the Bantamweight top five is, you know. Anybody in the top five can become champion. I know that. I know. I've been there. I fought for the title. I know everyone in the top five. And that's it, you know. In a given day, Marlon Moraes could be there. And, and hold that, by, that belt, and this is why I go to the gym every day. Nice. I was going to ask, so, I mean, you study everybody. I mean, he hasn't been around as long as you have, right? But did you watch his rise and say, I'm going to have to fight that guy one day? Yeah, of course. I see him uh, starting in the UFC. He, he, he beat very good fighters, and he ended up getting a, a bad fight against Sterling, you know? That's, that's a day. Sometimes it's not your day. And I see not just him, but everyone. Nice. Last thing for me, I mean, I know you said it's, the goal is not just a title shot, you know, but again, as nice as you are, if you win here and they don't give you a title shot, I mean, do you have to start maybe pushing back a little bit and, and saying, hey, what, what about me? I want to keep fighting. If they don't give, a, give me a title shot, they better give me a fight by December because I want to be active. I want to keep fighting. If I don't get that title shot, I want to keep fighting and one day I will. Earlier this week, Peter Yan tweeted at Aljamain Sterling that he heard the UFC had different plans for the Sterling Yan fight. Have you heard anything about that if you win, you get the title shot over Sterling? Do you think you could jump over him? I don't know. With the UFC, everything changes, you know. It's all about your last performance. And uh, Sterling fought when? I don't even remember when he last fought. So if I don't remember, maybe it's two, three months ago. So we are fighting Saturday. And a lot of people are going to remember what happened Saturday, you know. So let's go in there and let's leave everything we have and we could get a title shot. You had also called for a fight against Dominic Cruz for a while. Was that ever an option too? I gave up, you know. I tried everything I could to fight him and he never want to fight me. And that's okay, you know. That's so many talents, so many good guys. And, and I, I look ahead. I want to fight with the best and I want to fight with who wants to fight. Were there any other names offered to you besides Corey? I tr man, to be honest, I before I get this fight, I try every one on the top ten, and to f to get a fight, and I could not get a fight. It's not UFC fault. UFC try to, and it's just a matter of time, you know. In the bad time, winning guys, they were booked, and Sterling would never fight me again before, and so that that's what happened. A lot of people compare Corey to Dominic Cruz in there footwork and their movement and everything in the octagon. Do you see any parallels between the two? A little, yeah, yeah. I think Cody is a better version of Dominic Cruz. Better, really? Yes. Just faster and younger? Taller. How do you see the title fight between Jan and Aljamain playing out? The fight. I see advantage for Sterling on the ground and I see advantage for Jan on the feet. And it's a tough fight. Hopefully the best win because we want we when we, when you sign with the UFC, you gotta you have to be willing to fight with the best, and that's what I want. I want the best guys winning, cause I want to fight with the best. Um, there was a little situation between you and Bruno Silva pulled off uh, when you fought Henry Cejudo, and he's here. He's gonna fight Saturday. Did you guys talk? 
Have you seen him at all? No, yeah, I'm focused on Cody and Hagen, the main event. You know, I don't know who is, I don't want problem with anybody. I just want to focus on my fight, keep my head thinking about the opponent I have Saturday night, you know, keep composing, thinking about my game plan, that's it. What are your thoughts on Peter Yan and his fight with Aldo? Aldo looked good. Aldo didn't look bad, and and Peter Yan showed a couple holes on his game, you know, and it's it's interesting, you know, it was a good fight. We, we as a fighters, as a as people that study the game, we could take a lot from different angles, and it was very interesting fight. But Peter Yan show off who he really is, you know, a guy that goes in there, fights for five rounds, he does whatever he has to do to win. So what are the holes that you see? Calls what? The holes in his game. I don't want to say, you know. I don't want to say which holes I see on his game. And we, we if, if people wants to watch, they can watch and see. And I think what sometimes a hole for me, it's not a hole for the other guys. It, and sometimes a hole for him, it's not a hole for me, you know. Sometimes he gives spaces because he wants to do things. We never know. Can you talk a little bit about your friendship with Edson? Um, it's kind of great that you guys are on the same card together, but just kind of how long you guys have been friends and, and how you kind of got your start together? Me and Edson, we know each other for 20 years, over 20 years. We start training together, kickboxing in Brazil. And we had the whole life, all competitions in Brazil. Uh, and he moved to US, he signed with the UFC. And when he signed with the UFC, he called me and he gave me his job in the gym that he was in Florida. I started to teach kickboxing and I took his spot and thanks God, you know, and he gave me this opportunity to start teach, fight and live the American dream. And I was able to follow his path, sign with the UFC on the end of the day. And now I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna live my dream. You know, every time I, I used to watch Edson fight in the UFC, and I was in the UFC, I was, man, I want to fight one day with Edson, same card. Here I am. Let's enjoy it and let's do it. And you said, I think the last time you were together on the same card was 2008. Is that right? I was 14 years old. No, no, no. I was, I was, uh, I was 18, 18 years old, probably 2006, 2007. Okay. Um, and what do you think about him uh, and his matchup? You know, how do you think that one is going to play out? Edson's a monster, and in the 155 division, he showed to everyone, you know. It's not really fun to fight Edson. He hurts guys, and I know I respect his opponent too. I know he in the UFC, but man, that's levels for this game, you know, and I just see Edson in a different level. Man, yeah. sometimes in life you don't even dream what you leave. I sometimes people, how are you in UFC? What do you did to get there? And I don't even know, you know, like the life just goes, you know. But one thing I always done, I was always positive. I was, I always believed that I could achieve the things that I was fighting for, you know. And I was in Brazil one time. I, this never comes off my mind. One time I was, I was from the gym to the school, from work, and one day I was running like sweat, running from the gym to the school, and one friend stopped me and he said, man, what are you doing? Where are you going? I said, I was training. Man, why are you training? Stop training. This is not going to get you anywhere. Just work and go to school. And I said, no, I'm not going to give up. I know I can and I will do it. Here I am. Yes, of course, it was a funny story. And uh, back there, Alex Davis, he was managing me and Edson. And uh, he called Little no uh, Big Nog, hey, Big Nog, I have these two guys here. They are going to fight in Rio, but they don't have money for hotel. They don't have money for anything. Oh, come to my house. Stay in my house. 
and we we went to we went to see his house like this big mansion uh, the place is Alto do Juá and when he opened the door like all big TVs all the trophies pride the pictures and and we went to a room he has like all the all kind of protein shakes and me and Edson like oh my god this exists and he, uh, one of the guys was there, a fighter. He showed us his car. And I never see a, a Land Rover in my life. I saw a Land Rover for the first time at his house. And it was fun. Uh, me, to be, to, just so you guys can understand where we come from, just the fact that we open up the refrigerator and we see all kinds of food, water, juices, you know, soda, that's something that we never see before. And we were like 14 years old, 15, you know. It's crazy, it's unbelievable. And I was telling him, uh, look what we accomplished. And I can't believe. And it's fun because the three of you guys are here right now. Yeah, that's destiny, you know. And nothing happened because it has to happen. Everything happened for a reason.